Okay, so we're going to talk a little bit about the Jesse Smollett case being thrown out. And Kim Fox actually said that she felt that the case was kind of weak, so that's the reason that she threw the case out. So I'm going to go ahead and talk a little bit about what Chicago thinks of Kim Fox. They think that she should actually lose her job over the Jesse Smollett case. So that's what we'll be talking about this hour here on RadioTubeTV.com, where independent music and media lives, baby. We'll be right back in a second. Cook County State Office Attorney Kim Fox probably will, arguably, should lose her job next year over her office handling of the Jesse Smollett case. Yes, there are many worse crimes committed every day in Chicago than staging a hate-inspired attack and filling a false re police report about it, the offense with which Smollett was charged. And no, justice did not demand that Smollett be shackled and shipped off to prison for allegedly orchestrating his own stunt. Okay, now, but justice demanded resolution and accountability, and Fox appeared oblivious to this imperative as she made the media rounds attempting to explain why her office sent Smollett on his merry way Tuesday morning without extracting an admission of guilt or collecting a meaningful uh, fine. Her tone deaf statements included equating Smollett to the raft of a no name, low level, non violent offender who has received the go and send no more treatment and patronizing those who are outraged by the outcome as people who don't understand the intricacies of the justice system. So his lawyers have since repeatedly echoed his claim, for exa uh, example, responding Thursday to the state's demand that Smollett pay the cost of investigation, later estimated $130,000 with the statement saying it's the mayor and the police chief who owe Jesse uh, him apology for dragging an innocent man's character through the mud. Jesse has paid enough. Such galling pieties have infuri infuriated all of us who wanted to see the accused selfish charlatan humbled and fined for allegedly perpetuating such an ugly hoax. Had the case against him fallen apart, we're not sure. That would be, have been possible explanation given the witnesses do appear or change their stories, but no, prosecutors express continued confidence in their ability to have proved small and guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. Now have prosecutors told themselves that a blindsided public would be satisfied that, oh, we did this a lot, do this a lot, explanation of an abrupt dismissal of charges and a sensational case, not unless they're extremely dense. Fox could have distanced herself from the blunder, given um, that her own blunder emailing and texting with the people close to Small early in the investigation. So if you're not aware of that, there were people that come came up where you know his family were like texting her back and forth. This is talking about the state uh, state uh, attorney of the office of Chicago. And I think that's very uh, unprofessional, had prompted her to step away from the case and recruit herself and leave it to the underlings. But she grabbed ownership of it Wednesday, giving interview interviews, which she expressed pride and confidence in the way her office handled the case. And although she can point with some pride to the disvisionary, uh, dis diversionary programs that have kept small time offenders out of jail and offered them fresh starts and clean state slates. Her betrayal of the public's understandable expectation of justice in the smaller case will taint that entire nar uh, narrative. So in this case, you know, a lot of people, you know, already have their, uh, you know, their opinions about the Chicago Police Department, and now we see they are corrupt as hell. Now, she will be defending uh, defending the deeply disappointing outcome from now until at least March 17, 2020. That's the date of the primary election in which she is now certain to face a Democratic challenger for the office whose ideals have been disgraced. Now, I have received some, you know, troubling news here that Kim Fox herself is, you know, she has to run for office. And, you know, the attorney of Jesse Smollett has contributed to her in the past. Now, I'm not saying this has anything to do with it. It might just be, you know, just a coincidence. Um, but Kim Fox is, you know, going to be looked into. The FBI want to look into her. So Kim Fox had a, a comment that she said, uh, Kim Fox says, and quote, I welcome an outside review of how we handle this Jesse Smollett case. But they told her to recruit herself. And I did get word of that last week. Now, we have been off of here for quite some time. I appreciate each and every one of the subscribers that have stayed with us. And just so that you know.